Polisi ya Mr. Simbi. Mimi hapo ni Mr. Jana. Some instructions from uh, the clan that him being a man of God, a peace loving citizen, <coughs> he has prayed over this matter and he has instructed us we abandon that application and we proceed to allow the court to render its ruling so that he will deal with the ruling as it has been delivered. And also on the question of uh, our colleagues who have joined, they, this is an open court. Anybody who is an advocate can come on. He's a, he's a court officer. The question will be audience to address the court. May you render the, the ruling and which is purely between two parties. The Republic versus Ezekiel Kumbo Odev. That's all. Person has the right to be brought before a court 
as soon as reasonably uh, possible, but not later than 24 hours after being arrested, or if the 24 hours are end outside court hours, or on a day that is not an ordinary court day, at the end of the next court day. The respondents is now faced with the applications, with the applicant's notice of motion, dated 28th of April 2023, which is expressed to be brought under Article 491F sub G of the Constitution of Kenya, Section 123A of the CPC, Cap 75 Laws of Kenya, uh, Persons Deprived of Liberty Act, number 23 of 2014, Section 33 of uh, Porter, the Prevention of Terrorism Act, number 30 of 2012, and all other enabling provisions of the law, and which seeks the following orders. A, that the respondent be detained at Makupa Police Station for a period of 30 days, so as to enable the investigation team to complete investigations and submit the police file to the DPP for review. And B, that the court makes any orders that will be deemed fit for the proper, fair, and effective administration of justice. The applicants, that is the states, as on the first of the application listed 14 grounds upon which the application is premised, which in presses are as follows. I, I have reproduced the 14 grounds as they appear in the application, so I will not go through them. The state's motion is supported by the affidavit sworn on the 28th of April this year by number 235041, Mr. George Ryuki ASP, a senior police officer who describes himself in the affidavit as one of the investigating officers currently deployed at uh, DCM Mombasa Urban and undertaking investigations relating to serious crimes that the respondent is jointly and by constituency suspected to have committed, including but not limited to the felonies of murder. Where is your clients? He may sit. He may sit. He may sit. Including but not limited to the felonies of murder, aiding suicide, abduction, radicalization, genocide, crimes against humanity, child cruelty, fraud, and money laundering, and for being accessories before or after the facts. The same deponent has restated and expounded on the above grounds. The application proceeded by way of oral submissions, whereby the state was represented by Messrs. Kekrop and Jami, both prosecution counsel, where the respondent's case was urged by Mr. Magoro, advocate. So the state submissions, through the two landed prosecution counsel, the state sought for the court's discretionary orders <coughs> that the respondent be detained at Makupa Police Station in Mombasa County for a period of 30 days to allow the completion of investigations. It was the case of the applicants that the investigation to be undertaken in respect of the respondent is connected to what is currently widely referred to as the Chakahola Massacre, uh, quote unquote, at the center of which one, Paul McKenzie, is widely mentioned and whose activities are suspected by the authorities to be of a criminal nature and to have led to the deaths of at least 100 people. The states admitted that the offenses that the respondent is suspected to have committed and for which is being investigated include, um, as I've stated above, the families of murder, aiding suicide, abduction, radicalization, genocide, crimes against humanity, child cruelty, fraud, and money laundering, and for being accessory before and after the facts. It was further submitted that the respondent and the New Life Prayer Church, Mavweni, which the respondent founded, had been linked to several occurrence book or OB reports of several deaths that occurred between 2022 and 2023 within the church precincts, where the respondent resides over as a preacher and or pastor. Counsel for the state invited the court to peruse and consider 17 OB reports of 
such deaths, photos that copies of which were annexed to the affidavit in support of the application, which the state urges give credence to the intelligence information of the deaths at the state judge presence. Credible intelligence and more information, which reveal that some of the persons who left their enemies within the new life prayer church presence in my family may have been interred in Chakahora Forest, currently a secured crime scene. That upon the release of the innocent, innocent and vulnerable followers, quote unquote, of the respondents, their bodies were preserved at a privately run mock before being transported and interred on Paul Mackenzie's land in the Shakahona Forest and could well be among the bodies that have since been retrieved from the property in an ongoing search and examination, examination exercise and hence the connection between the respondent, Paul Mackenzie, and the Shakahona massacre. It was submitted that the number of bodies being exhumed continued to increase exponentially. Now the prosecution counsel told the court that the police were in possession of a number of burial permits that were issued to several individuals whose names 